The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules, but there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm a, I was a Spectre, and I was going to be the, ne the next person. Why is it so small? Import bonuses. You have received the following bonuses for importing a level 55 character. Jesus. 3,500 experience. 976,424 credits, 9,000 element 0, 9,000 iridium, 9,000 palladium, 9,000 platinum, 190 paragon points, 23 running gate points, new weapon, and uh, some new monies. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear, and we've got no target to go after. 
Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. structural damage, and no signs of battle. Trying to run, I got stuck on that box. Alright, let's see do that. Strange. Security systems are the same as the colonies. Warning, possible force using non standard ammunition. This is Someone not gonna be them to attack on site. easy. We're not alone here. Hostiles are clear.
activating. They're through my shields! She looks so much better. Shepherd? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard, is that you're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. Yeah, this is can't... definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Cerberus rebuilt me, but I'm not taking their orders. We can discuss the specifics once I know why you're here. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his soot CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now, we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of it. Alright, no, I'm gonna go... They've seen us! Shield down! Here we go. In 45 minutes, I'm gonna go take a shower. Right. 
We should have expected this. Come on. Still catch them. Hostiles are clear! I did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Heading to cover! Gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. useful.
then I was supposed to talk to her, because earlier I was allowing her to talk to her. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. I don't no to do that thing, but no I don't know swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Max will protect. <laughs> Human, where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon. Even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup.
I love Good work that. on freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing <laughs> through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't <laughs> wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army, or a really good team. I've oh, already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. Next level You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and <clears throat> convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Sweet. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian Thanks, scientist. Morden. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the collectors' paralyzing seeker swarms. I haven't even started, and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All no. right. Uh. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, 
Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. There's a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Oh, I got goosebumps. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. The best Normandy. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Almsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them, especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice, nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All of that just shit to do. On the off chance the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the past two years. You put me on the council and I'll, it's only fair you'd be allowed to speak to yourself about what you've been hearing. Okay, I'm not, like, uh, come on, I don't care.
Well, that was an overlord. All of those are just like, hey, this is what's been happening. And it's not a whole lot. Welcome aboard, Commander. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Ms. Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus' ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. I don't need to talk to anyone right now. Jesus Christ. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. I need to get more people on my ship. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Oh, this, one, this ship's so much bigger. I love it. How, I love how much larger it is. To my cabin. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. 
accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Don't just do my picture. So there's a lot of those. That's Mass Effect 1 music. I think this is like twice the size of the normal one, like in lore, right? Jesus Christ, this place is huge. Love support. Who's Gordon? Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Family lives in the camp. Bathroom. Uh, that colony's on the edge of the Observation. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar come. Commander Shepard. Hmm. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines. The creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. This, this place is fucking huge. Oh, hello, man, and uh... Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. 
Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. All right, well. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the Collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Do you have everything you need? If you happen to find any of those supplies on the list I gave you, it would be much appreciated. Otherwise, I'm doing fine. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. That was pretty good. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough. But losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. All right. So... Let's go... 
says there's nothing important done in engineering, but we'll go look around anyways, just in case. There might be like a, that guy who wants to talk. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. Ah, makes sense. Uh, this is what Jack will be. this area of the ship. This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. I think that's where Tally will be. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. I <laughs> hit the wrong button. What can we do my, for you, Commander? I like slipped off of my fucking joystick. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat. As a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So they just they left from me. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Carry on. Will do, Commander. All right. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see it. Alright, to the CIC. Do we go to the Mega first? No. Say we go to the Citadel first. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. Oh. Well. 
Before we talk to Joker, I might end it, and we might start with this talk tomorrow, or next time after I'm done with my shower and dinner. It's Dr. Edie. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Sure. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard uh, monitoring devices for the elusive talk. man. I, I serve to additional done that functions like which are restricted at this time. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Alright, well, I'm gonna go because it is getting that close, and I wanna eat before it gets too late. And it's just, it's basically like 11. So, I'm gonna go, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.